On this episode of Love With A Classic, we'll be checking out the front suspension on my 1975 XJ6. Welcome back to Love With A Classic, and if you're new to my channel, I hope you stick around and consider subscribing. I put new videos every week on some great Jaguar and classic car related content. So you can navigate to my channel down below, check out my previous videos, and if you like them, consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell notification, and you won't miss any future videos. So in this episode, we're having a look at front suspension on my 1975 XJ6. Basically just an overview to see if it's safe to go back on the road. Of course I'm going to have the car inspected or MOT because I need to by law, but also it's something that you really should do when everything is done. But I know myself, I know that when I have the engine back together in a week or so, I will want to go out immediately and just test drive it on some private roads here around my house. And I want it to be safe of course before I do that. So before I put the engine together now, I'm going to have a look at the front suspension just make sure that everything is nice and safe. I will have a look at the rear as well, but in this video we'll focus on the front. So I'm going to lift the car up in the air, just check that there is no play in anything. Make sure that the wheel bearings feel fine, make sure that the brakes aren't completely binding. And just give it a quick once over. I am planning on replacing all the brake fluid and going through the brakes a little bit later. But I will do that once everything is back together and, and running. But I just want to make sure now that everything is fine to go for a quick test drive in the next week or so. So let's hand over to the car, we'll bring it up in the air and let's see what we find. So this is a safety check and just within a few seconds I already found one thing that worries me. Took off this hubcap and look at this, we're missing a lug nut. There's only four of them right here and this kind of stuff, it scares me because if you're missing such a basic thing as not having enough lug nuts, what else could be wrong with your suspension and other things? So it's really good I'm going through all this, even though I'm having the car inspected, of course, because I need to buy law. I want to check through a lot of things first before I even roll out of the garage in this car. So I'm going to feel far. Rock it back and forth like so. Nothing that way. And yeah, nothing there. I'm basically just rocking the whole car on the jack stand. So that sounds good. Some dirt flying off from when I drove it in here. Brakes are not, I just tuned you know, up probably a little rusty because it's sitting in here and it was raining really hard when I took the car in. But other than that, it seems to be spinning fine. So I'm going to remove these lug nuts, definitely going to get another one. Take the wheel off and we'll have a look at the suspension components, see if we can see anything wrong with it. So I took the wheel off, set off some lights so you guys can see a little better. Hopefully there won't be too many shadows and it will be pretty clear. And I gave everything a once over and just looked it over. And I'm really pleasantly surprised. I haven't found anything terrible yet. So I'll show you guys what I found. The first thing I could see of course, is the most obvious thing, the Monroe shock here, which looks pretty new. This is just dust on here, so there's no rust on the paint or anything, so that hasn't been on there long at all. Bushing looks really good up there, and it looks good in the engine bay as well, which I've seen earlier. So I did suspect that the car might have new shocks, or at least new shock bushing, so that's really great to see. Uh, other thing that's really obvious is the brake disc. It really doesn't have a lip on at all. The tiniest, tiniest, tiniest one. So that one is basically almost new. No scoring, no nothing. That's in really good shape, so that's a huge positive thing. One other thing I noticed is the grease fitting here for the wheel bearing has fresh grease around it up here from a grease gun so that kind of flies off pretty quickly so someone didn't wipe it clean when they greased it and it stayed on there. So that's a good sign of maintenance that this has been greased. Uh, other than that there's no grease fitting up here or down here anymore so they've been replaced with newer units. It's also a good sign. Let's have a look at some bushings. Uh, kind of hard to see with some shadows here. There we go, but I don't see any cracks or anything. No. Normally I would just turn the ignition key so I take off the, um, the lock for the steering wheel and be able to move 
everything back and forth and basically steer it so I can look closer. But as you might have noticed, I already tried that. I completely forgot that I disconnected the power steering pump, so I made a little bit of a mess in the engine room when I tried to do that, so I'm not going to do that anymore. So one thing that is missing is we're missing one bump stop over there, but this one is intact on that side, so that's not really a safety thing at all. I'll just order up some for both sides and replace them at some point, but we still have one, so that's not bad. The bump stop in here can usually fall away. That one looks fairly new. The spring also looks fairly new actually, so that's really good. And we have the anti-roll bar bushings here. There's a tiny, tiny little crack in a few of them, but they crack and compress really quickly, so as long as they're still there, I'm happy enough to uh, drive it for now. Of course, I might replace them later because they do help a lot with handling, but not too bad to start out with. Let's check the bushing in there. Kind of hard to tell on camera, but that looks really good as well. Doesn't look worn out. It's not soggy from any oil or anything, so that looks really good. And bushings down there look really good too. I can't see them separating at all. Let's check this side as well. And that looks really good as well. Can't see any leaks from the power steering on this side, so that's really good. Everything looks nice and dry. Uh, let's see, that looks not too old as well. So I think everything has had a suspension overhaul not that long ago. Maybe it might be a long ago in time, as in a few years ago, but not that many miles ago. And there's still some meat left on those brake pads. I'd say more than 50% at least, so that's not bad at all. And I can't see that there's any leaks coming from around the brake caliper. Looks all nice and dry. And that flexible hose doesn't look very old as well. So, so far really good news over here. So after that mini inspection, I am pleasantly surprised. I thought I was going to find worse things after I found the missing lug nut, but everything else has been really good. And I don't think this is going to have any issues passing the inspection here or the MOT. It's not going to be a problem at all. I'm not going to check for any more play because I couldn't feel anything at all on the wheel and all the bushings look really great. I don't see any cracks or anything because otherwise sometimes all the pieces here can be missing on the side and uh, it can be look pretty bad. And this looks not bad at all. One other thing I noticed is if you have a look at the caliper, how clean it is right there. This is definitely not an original caliper. It's been replaced at some point or restored. I don't think that long ago. I think when the discs were replaced and the pads, I think they replaced the calipers as well or restored them because that looks really nice. One thing I do want to do, however, before I drive the car is change out the brake fluid and bleed the brakes. And I'm also going to take out the brake pads here and check that I can push the pistons back in smoothly and everything moves nicely. I will also put some brake pad grease on certain points of them because the brakes do squeal a little bit on this car. I know this one just moving around the yard at slow speeds, it does squeal and that really bugs me. So I'm going to go through and check that. We'll of course check the backs as well and bleed everything. I will also replace some hoses up by the master sill and I can go up there and show you right now because they look really terrible. And that's also one of the reasons I want to change out the brake fluid. These are the hoses I'm going to change out. They go from the uh, reservoir here over to the master cylinder. And I mean that one is just rock hard. And this one's even worse because the clamp has started to rust. So there might even be a little leak over here. The clamp is rusting really bad over here. So I'll be replacing those, replacing all the brake fluid, flushing out the system. And I think the brakes should be good then. They didn't feel bad when I just test drove it with the small roads around my house with the blown head gasket. The brakes felt fine, a little squealy, but they grabbed well. The car didn't pull to the right or left at all. So I don't think there's anything wrong with them, but I just want to check a few things for safety. So now I'm going to check this side, but as you can see, it's pretty tight against the wall, so I can't really get that on camera. But I'll let you know if everything looks as good on this side. Might even be better because I actually see five lug nuts. Let's see, yeah, five lug nuts on this side. So 
we're already off to a better start on this side. So overall, I'm really pleasantly surprised with what I found. Nothing really severely needs to be replaced at the moment. Of course, I might feel other things when I go out for a drive. I might hear something knocking or something might feel loose or the inspection or MOT place might find something. So there will be things to replace. The only thing I really saw right now is I will want to replace some of those bushings for the anti-roll bar because they were quite compressed and starting to crack. But they cost almost nothing and they're really easy and quick to replace. So I'll do that a little bit further down the road. Other than that, there will be a future video on replacing all that brake fluid, going through the brakes and bleeding everything. So that's something that's coming up pretty soon. So that's it for right now. A little quicker, different video. That's because I am working on a larger video, as you might know. Because getting the head assembled and the block ready is taking quite some time, but it's almost there. So in the next few days, we will see a video on assembly of the head, getting everything back together and set up. And then we're going to get the block ready, clean it up, and put all the studs back in. So that's coming really soon. But until next time, I'm Adam, and this was Luma for Classic. I'll see you soon.